Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Alfonso from Bailey's Custom Church, your own truly family owned t shirt printing company here in Fort Myers. Go ahead, Fort Myers, Florida, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Keep watching, we have a nice sublimation t shirt to do. Stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you guys through the process. Let's go. Alright guys, so while this is heating up, let's go ahead and go over some the checklist, alright? So we need some paper, alright? So I know you guys are probably wondering what type of paper is this guy is using, alright? Let me keep it simple for you. Go to your your um, local Lowe's or Home Depot and get some of this painter's paper here. The brown paper. And you'll be good to go. Now this paper is here is for to protect. Uh, to protect the bottom platen and to protect the top platen of your heat press. Alright, so again, I'm going to go ahead and stand it up so you guys can see it. Alright, this is what you need. This, this is exactly what you need. Alright, so step one, make sure you get the right paper, alright, to protect the bottom platen and the top platen. Alright, so step one. Alright, so here we go. I cut a piece out. As you guys can see, I did cut it out. Place it up under the platen. Um, well heat press if you have a 16 by 24 I have one down there um, I still have to build me a table this weekend so it can look a lot cleaner in here because you can see it's a little crowded stuff is everywhere in the shop yeah it's crazy right guys all right so next thing I have here is a board okay it's 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 a cardboard very thin cardboard very flexible uh, you want to use this to keep your t-shirt flat alright so you can use this purchase this from Lowe's or Home Depot and you'll be good to go I have it here I already prepped my t-shirt that's ready to be sublimated on I'm doing an all over t-shirt for a client online order so as you can see I put down the painters paper at the bottom and you can see the board alright this is the board here I have the board here okay guys very simple all right I put some also I put some painters tape to uh, keep it still so it doesn't move when I'm moving the t-shirt around all right so and I have it on each side I have it top left and I have it on the bottom sometimes I do it on all four corners but it's okay right now because I have a large format press now so this is step two it's at 322 again let it Go ahead and do a pre-press, do it for a minute, and then we're ready to go once it hits the right temperature. Get a sound off here shortly. Two, one. Nice pre press. See how it looks. Again, it's only a 325, so you may still see a lot of wrinkles. Still. Keep this up. Oh, it moved the entire t shirt. Holy crap. What the? It's not what I wanted. What the crap, dude? Smokes, man. I don't want that to happen. Now let's fix this thing, man. Come on. I do not want that to happen at all. Oh, there's a paper shifting there. It's all good. It's okay. So we're going to knock this out. I think there's some lint that got on there, too, man. Have that. Let's try this thing again. Let's try it again. It doesn't stick like that again. Suck. Let's try it again. Now, the good thing about having the paper, you can go ahead and take off, well, unattach it from the board, move the tape, and you can actually move around the actual t shirt without moving the t shirt. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide the t-shirt over there anyways. Slide that over. So we're going to go ahead and slide. 
gonna let this all the way over. for 20 seconds, not too long. Not too bad, not too bad. It's a little flat. We need to get this one spot. We'll be in a spot up here and we'll be good to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to kind of turn it around. I want it to really hit that middle. Well, oh, I really want that. This table is about to cave in, guys. I have to build this table. Can I wait until this weekend? Whew, this has to go. Some glue was on the uh, paper. That's why I was sticking. It's freaking glue on the paper. What the hell? That was weird. That was weird, man. That's why I was sticking. It, it never did that. Alright, here we go. Uh, looks so I'm actually going to let it cool down before I remove the paper I like to let it cool down for at least 30 seconds and I will go ahead and remove the paper as you can see it has sublimated onto the garment and we're going to see how it's going to look I'll check the back. 
Make sure you didn't sell Mayfield there. Oh, be careful. Do not put it back on this sheet. It's still sublimated. Do not put it back down. Wow. That's all I can say is, wow. Wow. That's all I can say, guys, is, wow. Wow. Do you see that? Wow, that's all I can say. If I can do it, guys, you guys can do it. Here at Bailey Custom Shirt, we show you how to print 3D all over t-shirts and run your t-shirt printing business and be successful. Keep watching, guys. It's going to get better. Take care. God bless you and your family. I'm out.